The gaming world of virtual reality is now being used to help patients in physical therapy. Health reporter Stephanie Saul joins us with how it changed a Montgomery County woman's life. It really did. Wait till you meet her. This patient was badly burned and says learning to move again was a little more interesting and fun with the help of virtual reality. Black smoke came right at me and I couldn't see. I was disoriented and I fell. Emily Dorsheimer describing the house fire in Coatesville that left her severely burned in April. Her husband, Glenn, says the recovery was torturous. I thought at one time, you know, I was going to be planning for a funeral, honestly. And uh, thank the Lord above. It didn't happen that way, and she's with me. A big part of her recovery happened here at Aristocare in Plymouth Meeting, where the physical therapy includes a virtual reality system called Real. It was interesting how it actually did work. Through a headset, she sees different scenes. Here, playing a ball game that works on balance and restoring strength and movement, all lost after she was immobilized in a medically induced coma recovering from the fire. I couldn't stand, I was too weak to stand on my legs. Um, I could not walk and I could barely speak. 89%. She says after months of rehab, it's all come back with the help of the new technology. <laughs> this gives us a lot more variety and variability with our treatments. Tim Bullis, the director of rehab, says virtual reality includes games and also real life situations like bathing and dressing. And there are sensors that go on both hands both knees across the, the chest and then across your waist and what they do is they monitor basically your body's position in space um, and can measure range of motion with movement of the arms. It's amazing. Emily says she was surprised at how well the therapy worked. <laughs> I, I came a long way in a short amount of time. Grateful to be reunited with her husband. I'm amazed at how she came from near death. She's a fighter. <laughs> That's all I can say. She's a fighter. She is a fighter, all right. Emily says she hopes her story inspires other going, others going through difficult times to persevere. She has, and boy, did it pay off. She's been through it, but now on the other side. Very mm -hmm. inspirational. And yeah. Technology isn't all bad, you see. Technology is good in this case.